kind of colorblind person buys red and green shirts. Shit, shit, shit. Ah. <laughs> uh, hello? Hi, Jonah. Hey, Denise. So, what's up? Is everything all right? Oh, yeah. I just wanted to say I'm really excited for a date. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm excited too. Did I get the time wrong? Because I, I thought it wasn't for another half hour. No, you're right. Unless you want to meet earlier, of course. <laughs> then we could go on our second date tonight too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, I'm actually, I'm, I'm glad you called because I've been thinking maybe we shouldn't go out. What do you... Just because, like, there's this virus going around, it sounds pretty dangerous, and I'm not sure it would be safe for us to be out amongst the people right now, you know? Oh my gosh, you're so right. I totally agree. Really? That's great, then... How about I just come over to your place? Well, that's the other thing, is... <laughs> mm, I've been feeling this, this little tickle in the old throat the last couple of days. Oh no! Yeah, so I, I might be infected. I might be patient zero of Los Angeles. <laughs> so I, I, I don't think it's a good idea for me to be around anyone, really. Oh, you poor thing. Tell you what, call me when all this is over with, and right now you just focus on getting better, okay? If I even make it, you know, it's, it's a little early to tell. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, I should, I need should to- Should I call a doctor? <coughs> Real nice. Thanks, Corona. No, dude, I survived a summer at my aunt's cottage in Bumblefuck, Wisconsin, where the pinnacle of fun was playing Uno Deluxe while drinking a root beer. That's boredom, but this, like, this needs another word. We, we have plumbed the depths of boredom and discovered a fucking cavern underneath it. Wow, that must really suck for you. <laughs> what, so you're not bored? Nope. You've been locked in your house alone for half a year. How can you not be bored? I'm actually not alone because I have a husband, which means I still get to have sex. Must be nice. You could be having quarantine sex too if you hadn't bailed on that date. I didn't bail on her. I was protecting us from potential exposure to a very deadly virus. Oh, so it was about the virus. That's right. Not about your emotional unavailability or your fear of connection or- Listen, dude, I honestly just wanna be single right now. And this quarantine has given me a great excuse to stay that way. Oh my God, you're so full of shit. I mean, I am due for a poop, but I don't see how you would know that. You don't want to be single. Um, I certainly do. No, you just think you do because you always have been single and staying with what you know feels safer than trying something new, even though it would probably make you happier. Uh, okay, thanks, Dr. Sal. Do you take HMO? <clears throat> what the hell's this? A new virtual dating site? Virtual dating? Dude, no. Come on, <laughs> why not? <laughs> Because I, I'm itchy enough on real dates, okay? I don't need Zoom's help to make them more uncomfortable. A lot of people are doing it. It's a real thing. No, I just, no. What if I meet someone who's like incredible, but she smells bad? Like, how would I know? I'm a very olfactory person. It's kind of a deal breaker. You could always ask her to send you her panties. Gross. No, you know what? If I'm gonna go on a date at all, and that's a big if, I'll do it in person. Sure, then you can wait until it's safe to go on dates in 2022 when you're pushing 30 and have never been in a serious relationship. I bet all the ladies will be dying for a taste. Well, that didn't feel good. You know what does feel good? Sex. So I'm gonna go have sex with the person that I live with. Something you could do too if you weren't too scared to accept that you want love and companionship. Okay, bye! <laughs> no, he's calling me back. Hmm. What the hell? Come on. Though there's no pick. Oh no. Oh god, that's a butt. That's his butt! Uh oh! Uh -huh. mm. No, that's fine. I don't need him. Do I have any fives? Don't, ah, oh. Uh. <laughs> G 
Jesus, fine, you win. Quarantine doesn't have to ruin your love life. With Zoom Out Dating, you can connect via video chat with high quality singles at the touch of a button. While you're staying in, why not Zoom Out? Fuck it, how bad could it be? Hello? Hi! Jonah? Denise? Well, this is... Wow! What are the odds? Unbelievable. I'll say. Uh, you look nice. Thanks. You look... not dead. You caught me on one of my better days. And it's surprising that you're not dead because you never called. <laughs> That's true, but you did tell me to call when, you know, all this was over, and it's still not over, so technically if I had called you already, it would have been in breach of our agreement. Oh, okay, that makes sense. So in the meantime, you just thought you'd find some other people to date, is that it? Believe it or not, this is actually my first time, and I'm only doing it because my friend was sending me butthole pics. God, you're an asshole. They were his buttholes, actually. I waited for months to hear from you. Months! Wondering if you were even alive. God, do I know how to pick them. You know what? I'm glad you never called. It wouldn't have been worth getting sick to have mediocre sex with some small-dicked coward who doesn't know what he wants. For what it's worth, I wasn't actually sick. Wow. Fuck you, Jonah. Stay safe out there. Ugh. Well, it's not like it's gonna get any worse than that. It's so cool to get to talk to a fellow TV nerd. Right? Same! Okay, don't judge me, but there is this incredible show that I'm watching right now for the first time. Okay. Wait, don't tell me it's- Breaking Bad. Yep. <laughs> what? <laughs> ah, are you serious? No, don't judge me. No, I, I, I'm not judging you. I'm jealous. I wish I could watch Breaking Bad for the first time again. Well, maybe you could come over and watch it sometime. Oh, I mean, I could, but with everything going on, you know, it feels like it might be a bad idea. Otherwise, I'd be totally into it, but... Well, we could each quarantine for a couple of weeks and then we'd be safe. We could, or we could not. It's so nice to meet a real person on here for once. Yeah, I'm getting tired of chatting with all those AI people. It's like, I watched Westworld, you can't fool me. <laughs> <laughs> You're so funny. I'm gonna send you my number. We should continue this on FaceTime or something. Oh, uh, I don't think I can actually. What, you have big quarantine plans? Rager for one. No, I just, uh, <laughs> I'm allergic to dogs. So I don't think that, you know, this would, uh... And you couldn't have told me that an hour ago? I suppose I could have. Yeah. So you don't want to go on another date? Another date? I mean, we haven't even really gone on one date. We're on a date right now. Are we, though? Yes. You're a dick, man! You're one of those guys who seems all nice and cool, and then BOOM! Just kidding! You're actually a secret shit bag, just like the rest of them! Come on, come on. Jesus, how many pictures of your butthole do you have? Okay, never have I ever had Zoom sex. Yeah, me either. Shocker. Wanna try it? No. Then what are we doing here? I honestly don't know. You're a dick! You're just such a dick! Hello? You still there? Dick! A dick, dick, dick! Yep, still there. You do realize that this is a dating site, right? People are coming on here specifically to go on dates. Are they, though? Yes. And you're mean, and you're selfish, and you're not hot enough for those things to be forgivable. You're the worst, man. So I'm hearing. The absolute worst! Fuck you, Jonah. Fuck you, Jonah. Fuck you, Jonah. Fuck you, Jonah! Thanks, Alex, I'll take things no one will ever do again for a thousand. Ha! <laughs> yeah, no, fuck you. And by the way, you look like a fucking cave person. Like, comb your hair, you dick. Wait for it. Dick. Hi there. Hello.
Hello, let me just spare you the hassle of having to do this. We'll talk for a while, it'll be fine. I'll be quasi-charming, because that's something I'm good at, apparently. And then, as soon as you make any indication that you actually like me, or want to spend more time with me, which, you know, was the whole point of being here, uh, I'll suddenly turn into a rather polite douchebag, and try as hard as I can to get out of the conversation, because... Well, I don't actually know. Maybe I'm scared? Like, I always joked I was gonna die alone, but now it feels like that might actually happen because I haven't even seen a person in over six months and I'm not going to for who knows how long and everyone is dying and I could be next and I'm only doing this because my friend forced me to because I don't even believe that online dating even works or is like a good use of time. But of course, I won't say any of that to you. I'll just come up with an excuse to leave based on the information you've told me and then you'll say, fuck you, Jonah, and hang up. So there you have it. Sorry to waste your time. That's a hell of a pickup line. I mean, generally it's probably a bad idea to tell someone all the ways you're gonna disappoint them right from the get-go, but it's definitely different than, hi, here's my penis, so I'll give you that. Did it work? If I say yes, will you turn into a douchebag? Yes, but a rather polite douchebag. <laughs> well, this I have to see. Wait, wait, no, the worst is that condom commercial. Yes, what the hell, I hate that thing. I know, it's like, to all the couples stuck together, remember that you could be having sex. <laughs> and to all the single people, here's a reminder that you can't be having sex. As if being isolated wasn't bad enough, don't forget that if you want some action, you'll have to fuck yourself. Try a zucchini, it's cold and sad, just like your heart. <laughs> and I even bought a zucchini because of that, but didn't really work as advertised for me. Really? I use mine every night. The same one? You don't think you should replace that? Oh, no. Me and Danny Zuki have a very special bond. <laughs> wow, I have never been jealous of a squash before, but th this year is just full of surprises. Ah, <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. I actually have to go. Shit, was it the squash joke? I I'm sorry, that, that was a bit much. Yeah, I'm actually allergic to squash, so I don't think this is going to work out. <laughs> Never should have told you that. <laughs> nope. <laughs> but you're off the hook this time because I really do have to go. Conference call. But it's night? Question mark? I know. It sounds fake. I work for a tech company and it's like the middle of the workday in Japan, so... Uh, Amanda, if you don't want to talk anymore, it's really... You can just say... This is my number. Call it tomorrow at 7, okay? Okay. Yeah. Go find that zucchini. You need to relax. I'll call her Sandra Z. You two have fun. Oh, by the way, fuck you, Jonah. <laughs> Did I do it right? You're a natural. Holy, she's amazing, dude. She's so funny and cool, and she's at least as witty as I am, probably more. And you think really highly of your wittiness, so that's saying something. I know. <laughs> and she's like ridiculously pretty. It just feels right. Like, this is what I've been waiting for. I'm glad to see my butthole did some good for the world. Oh, by the way, I think you have a hemorrhoid. Oh, I always have one or two. That's upsetting. Yes, it is. So what are you two doing today? I'm taking her mini golfing. What do you think? We're gonna FaceTime or Zoom or whatever. You should buy her dinner. Great idea. And while we're out, I'll ask a stranger to sneeze into our open mouths. I didn't say take her to dinner. I said buy her dinner. Wow. Yes, you're a genius. And you look homeless. So maybe before you go on a second date with your soulmate, you could like shave? Not teeny. Teeny? But th that's what I call it because it's quarantine, so it's teeny, but it's ironic because it's actually really big. <laughs> you need to shave. Yeah, it's gotta go. Hey! Well, hello. Who is this I see before me? This is me in my human form. Oh, so you show people the beast first to make sure they like you for you, is that it? Yes, that's... <laughs> That's exactly it. Yeah, very good. Well, you look very nice, Prince Jonah. So do you. Uh, I guess that makes you Belle? I think I'm more of an Ariel, but I'll take it. But my apologies. Okay. Uh, so, speaking of nothing, you hungry? Always. 
What? Are you gonna take me out in the ghost town? One of these days, yes. But, circumstances as they are, I figured that instead of taking you out to dinner, I could have dinner delivered to us. That's the cutest thing in the history of quarantine. Right? It's not my idea, but I will take full credit for it. That's the American way. <laughs> Here, texting you my address. <laughs> Great, I will immediately publish it to the internet. Love the transparency, very considerate. <laughs> so what kind of food do you like? Ooh, big question. Well, I love a taco, Ooh. but you can't go wrong with wings. <laughs> Always down for pasta. Mm. Hey, uh, you sure this is the right address? <laughs> Let me check, sometimes I screw up the zip code. <laughs> no, it's, it's just, it says Seattle. Well, that much is right. <laughs> What are you doing in Seattle? Oh, you know, just spending some quality time in my apartment. You have an apartment in Seattle? I do. I tried living in a box under a bridge for a while, but I figured I deserved an upgrade. Oh my god, you live in Seattle. And suddenly I'm thinking you don't? Try a little further south. Tacoma? L.A. Oh. Yeah. What? Then why did the app... That's what I'm trying to figure out. You didn't happen to be passing through Southern California when we got paired up last night, did you? Yeah, I haven't even passed through my friend gate in six months. <laughs> Me either! Oh, okay, okay we, we have to make this work. How, how do we make this work? I mean, do you feel like moving to Washington? I wish, but work's here. Uh, any interest in coming to Hollywood? I wish, but work's here. And L.A. sucks. L.A. sucks? No, no, no. Rain sucks. Ergo, Seattle sucks. Mm -hmm. mm, I think you sucks. And I think you sucks. <laughs> <laughs> I think this sucks. This definitely does sucks. I'm sorry, I can't... What do you... Take care of yourself, Jonah. I'm so sorry. D I'm Amanda, wait! <laughs> Okay, so it says here you have to actually check a box to turn on GeoFilter. Otherwise, it pairs you with people from all over. Great! So you basically made me sign up for chat roulette without all the penises. Would you have preferred the one with all the penises? I would have preferred to know that Amanda lived a thousand miles away before I started to fall for her. I think that's on Amanda. But I see your point. How could it happen? And one time, I actually meet a person I want to be with. I can't be with her. And the one time I actually want to buy ice cream, all I can find is this shit made out of cashews. It's not fair. Hey, at least now you know that being with someone is a thing you want. I don't want to be with someone. I want to be with her. Yeah, and if you could find that kind of connection with Amanda through your computer screen, chances are you can find that with someone else closer to home, too. But you can't ignore it anymore, and it's not going to just magically appear. And if you wait for this pandemic to be over, you're just going to be waiting and waiting and getting fat on cashew milk ice cream, and you deserve better than that. You mean it? Of course. You deserve to get fat on dairy ice cream like a normal person. <laughs> or at least soy. Hey, I'm Jonah. Hi, Jonah. I'm Penny. Nice to meet you, Penny. So where do you live? We could spend some time apart But still I know my heart would be It would pound for you Because I'm secure 